It's the slam dunk. This is a government that appears to be unwinding things, stopping things, but building little and investing in not much. And now it appears it's cut critical and crucial funding in the science area to a program run by Nano Girl, uh, Michelle Dickinson. Now, she teaches science at the very highest levels, physics, chemistry, all that stuff. It's out of this world. It's experiments and concepts uh, to our best and brightest, basically so they can excel on the world stage. It's beyond my pay grade what they do. I have no idea. It's science at a mind-blowing level. It's what it is. It's chemistry and physics at a whole new level, quite frankly. What they do saves and changes lives. Think Peter Beck. Think space travel. Think uh, what's possible in a Petri dish. All that sort of stuff. What they do in outer space. Uh, then times it by 300 light years. These people teaching and learning on Nano Girls programs are at another level. And we should rightly stand in awe of what they do, their big brains, and what they achieve, and the things that they solve on our behalf. Because these are the people that will keep us alive for longer. Except they really only survive because of government research grants and things like that, charity from businesses. Uh, but Dickinson is unhappy, and rightly so. And we here at the Editor-in-Chief podcast have learned crucial funding for some of her programs has been wound back and wound up and cut in some areas. And a number of high-quality smart teachers regarded as being the best in their field – uh, who are teaching at the very highest level, teaching the next Peter Bex. The people who would save the world in the future have been told it's over, don't come Monday. The government grants have gone and the funding's gone. They simply can't carry on. Dickinson had to inform them late last week that their jobs are over. Seven of them. We're unsure of some of the finer details, but certainly it seems short-sighted. Why clip funding from such a critical area where New Zealand has consistently underperformed? We don't do well in this area. So Nanagu is doing great work. We understand seven high-end teaching jobs have gone. Seven of these bright people teaching other bright people. Just cut, gone. Is it political, I ask? Does this government not like her? Was she too close to Jacinda Ardern? Was it COVID? Is it something she said? It makes you ask the question. Was she too close to Jacinda Ardern? To me, this requires an explanation um, from the government as soon as possible, actually. It really does. This government will be a short one if all they do is tear stuff down and stop things. Where's the vision? Where's the building? Where's the program? If Luxon wants outcomes, then why force Dickinson, one of our leading lights, to tell her best people, don't come Monday? If we want to back our best and brightest, and if we agree on excellence as the destination, then why pull the plug on the very thing that keeps it going? Grants from central government. It seems idiotic. Don't, don't read last year's speech, mate. I don't think many Kiwis would expect an academic powerhouse and her team of superstars would face job-ending cuts. That's where you think the money would go. Why attack the good work and the best bits, our best and brightest, who quite frankly say and spell words that we've never heard of? We need to challenge the status quo. We need solutions for climate change, things like that. We need cancer research, pollution in our water, obesity, diabetes. The list goes on. These people solve issues. If the government has good reason to pull the pin, what is it? It's all very well funding slogans like boot camps and reading and writing in mass for an hour a day. That's all great. But some people live on other planets. I'm not talking space cadets. I'm talking people with brains the size of small planets. These people, Michelle Dickinson and her army of friends, have been laid off. The government needs to, to front to justify pulling back from Nanogirl. Why? What's behind it? What's the deal? She's professionally devastated by this and can't work it out. So front up and tell us the truth. What's going on?